changing in aviation that would change it for all of us for all the, for year, for 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 the rest of time. Most of the aircraft that were involved in World War II had piston engines, either inline or V or radial piston engines uh, that powered the aircraft that took the skies and preserved, fought for and won and preserved our freedom here in the United States. There's Rich, there's Danny, give him a wave as he comes by everybody. That's the right B flyer, four wheels and one handful to fly. You may have recalled, by the way, when Danny was having a little trouble with a microphone, that's when Rick Stepler was using, moving the control yoke big time. All right, after World War II, we went in from the piston age to the jet age, and then the Korean War started. Off to the right on the takeoff roll now, from up in Indiana, his name is Paul Wood. He is flying the North American F-86 Sabre jet. Made in Canada, 
and also here in the United States by North American Aviation, the pilots who flew these against the MiG-15s in the Korean War had a very, very good time, if you will, against the MiGs. The kill ratio eventually racked up by American pilots during the Korean conflict and this this airplane against the MiGs became 11 to 1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome back to the stage, going to tell us a little bit more about the F-86 and joining me up here, the gentleman who just got off the right B flyer is getting out of his flight gear and getting his show gear on. Please welcome winner of the International Council of Air Shows, Sword of Excellence, member of the International Council of Air Shows, Hall of Fame, Award, uh, the Bill Barber Award for Showmanship Award winner and the Art Scholl Award for Showmanship winner. He is Mr. Danny Clisham. We call him Hollywood. Welcome Danny Clisham to the stage. Thank you, Rob Ryder. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, Rob's been telling you about the F-86 and sponsor of the F-86 today. I think you mentioned that, UTC Aerospace. I did earlier in the day. They're proud to be a sponsor. The Wheels and Brakes business located at Troy designs and manufactures aircraft wheels and brakes for at least 200 types of aircraft. It's UTC Aerospace Systems. Well, the F-86 is so significant in the history of military aviation because after World War II, we were entering the jet era. As we went into the Korean War, there were still propeller-driven, piston-powered airplanes in the air, mostly delegated to the attack role, the ground attack role or the bombing role. But the dogfight arena belonged to the swept-wing fighters. I don't know if Rob told you, but as... Uh, all wood brings the aircraft back in. I want you to look at a, a big breakthrough in aviation and aerodynamics, especially in fighters and later in jet aircraft. It is the sweep of the wing. As Paul Wood rolls the aircraft around, you see the swept wing. He won't do it this time because the gear and flaps are down. And by the way, one of the things that North America put into the airplane when it got into the slow speed environment like this was automatic leading edge I, I want devices that would deploy and form another airfoil the leading edge of the wing to help for slow speed maneuverability and for landing. Saber, like the one you're watching now. The other one was the only piston-powered ace and the only Navy ace of the war. That was in a Corsair, a night fighter Corsair. So eyes to the right, you can see the smoke and you can see the gleam of the F-86 and perhaps this will be, on uh, this pass, one of the examples of that swept wing design. You know the F-86 had the reputation <laughs> It was the world's leading distributor of make of parts. Rob told you about the 10 to 11 to 1 kill ratio of the airplane in the Korean War. And the that's the important of the game because it spread make parts from one end of the uh, Yalu River to the other. It was also, that kill ratio was also courtesy of some great training that our pilots had that the enemy didn't take time to uh, be able to pass on to their pilots. And it was not a fair fight in many cases. Our pilots just out flew the big pilots. One of the things you might notice about the F-86 Sabre jet is you saw the smoke. Not the white smoke as it came by, that's air show smoke, but the, the dark smoke that we saw on its previous passes. That was a dead giveaway. Uh, for early jets and a lot of scientific work was done to improve the efficiency and lessen the smoke signature of the airplane so it couldn't be seen coming quite so easily. As the aircraft approaches for our, its final approach and landing, 
9,800 of these units were built in four different countries. Rob gave you some information about that. Great pilots like Colonel Buzz Aldrin flew the F-86. Joseph